Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I am back with another drama school audition experience video for you. And today is about RADA, the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, and that is in London. Um, I have auditioned there twice, once this year and once last year, and it's been a pretty positive experience um, overall. Um, so I'll just start with the application process. So with RADA they're quite old school in the fact that um, you need to print out the application form from their website, um, write on it, write all your answers, like your hobbies, uh, your experience in acting, that sort of thing. And then you pop it in an envelope and then you post it to them. And then they receive it and then they will email you when your audition date is and it's totally fine to change it if you're not free that day but I'd say don't change it too much because um, they can't always cater around you. Um, also they have this thing where if you apply before a certain date in December um, your audition fee will be slightly less than if you were to apply after that date in December because um, they try to encourage lots of people to apply um, within that first few months. I don't know why but that is how it works um, but it's also so I guess they get more money in that application process. It's a bit strange but um, that's how they do it. Um, in the two times that I've applied for RADA, I have applied before that um, December uh, date just because I don't really want to pay more for an audition and I've just managed to prep myself um, so that I know I'm ready for a date in December if they give me one. In my first year of applying to them, I had my audition in December but this year they did get my application but my audition was actually in January so it really depends um, how many applicants they get and how far in advance you apply basically. Um, and then let's talk about travel. So for my actual audition day I always get to auditions really early just because it's better to be early than late and I don't want to panic myself. So I took the train to St Pancras and then took the Northern Line tube to Goode Street and that is the closest tube station to um, the school I believe and um, then I just found my way using like Google Maps or City Mapper and got to this white bricked building with a plaque that said Royal Academy of Dramatic Art and then you just press the little buzzer and um, they open the doors and that is the reception area. To be honest it was quite small compared to what I thought it would be um, but it was really nice, it was warm and um, yeah it was, it was a reception room. Um, that is where they give you a sticker and then ask you to wait for someone to come collect you basically. Um, so that is when I like to sort of do a few stretches and warm up a little bit and get to know other auditionees. Mm -hmm. um, when that uh, graduate or student comes they just say hi guys follow me and then they take you upstairs to a sort of like meeting room with tables and chairs and there's about 15 in that I guess hour slot of auditions and there's about 15-20 people sitting there they get out all your application forms pass them all around and um, you just check that everything is right on there and then they give you another piece of paper to, to write down your speeches and possibly a song if you've got one but you won't be asked to sing it in that first round audition. Um, after that they just put you into three or four groups I think. In those groups there's about four, five, maybe six people and those are the groups that you get auditioned in and they tell you the order there 
and then they say okay someone else is going to take you um to the other building now for your actual audition um then they take you across the road and take you to the room and normally there's like a little corridor well for me there was a little corridor where you could warm up really really quietly though and then there's the room where you actually audition sometimes you might be like the first one to go in so they get, do give you a couple of minutes just to sort of get in the zone go with your speeches a little bit go to the toilet and then they take you in um and for my first time auditioning there i was first in my group and then this year i was actually the third person i think um I don't actually have a preference, I just don't want to be last because all the nerves build up in that waiting period to be honest. Um, so with the actual audition um, there are two people on the panel and they ask you to sit down in front of them, they ask you a few questions, try to get to know you a bit and then they say okay we're ready to hear your speeches now, you get up, they ask you um if you need any chairs or props or anything and if you do then just say for me i didn't need a chair or anything so i just said no it's fine and i did my speeches i think they went okay um i feel like you never know with your speeches there are times when you definitely know because you've messed up um but it just depends on how badly you mess up <laughs> um sometimes i feel that i've done really well because it's gone the same way as i've done it in rehearsals um but to be honest you, i don't really know what they're looking for so after your speeches they get you to sit down again in front of them they might ask you a few questions for me in my first year of auditioning there they said um do you watch a lot of theatre what have you seen previously what have you seen recently and um this year actually they asked me why did i choose that speech um they ask you why you might apply to the course that sort of thing it really depends on what they want to ask you really what they're interested in um and after that you just walk out of the room once they're done and that is literally it um for me i think that it's incredibly brief um and sort of like oh it's done now sort of thing i think you might be in the room for about 15 minutes max um because they have to see quite a few people and things in that first round so um that is why it's probably that brief and i feel it went okay it didn't go like spectacularly amazingly great but um it was all right and i didn't get a recall i don't go to rada unfortunately um but it was a really positive experience and just another chance to perform in front of people and um unfortunately they don't give feedback in that first round which is really annoying but it must be so difficult for them to see like thousands of people so i understand why but um it is annoying because i'd like um some advice on how to improve and yeah that sort of thing that is my experience a short brief and overall pretty positive it was a really good experience they were so lovely um to talk to and i really like the school i like the um rooms that they have and facilities and um yeah i don't really have much to say about that unfortunately if you do have any um questions that you'd like me to answer please comment down below also any more video ideas uh, about maybe more schools just leave them in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and if you want to hear more then please subscribe <laughs> thank you very much i'll see you soon